Hi guys, and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a one page scrolling website with a Divi theme. I've got a little template here, I've got a menu at the top, and I click on services. It's going to go down to the services section. Awards will go down to the awards section, design to the design section, etc., and back to the home page which is the top. Now we're using a template to do this today and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's go ahead and create a new page. I'll give it the title, I'll call it scrolling. I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And for this demo today I'm going to use a pre-made layout but of course you can do this with a custom design too. As we mentioned in the last video, Divi's got almost 2,000 layouts to choose from. I'm going to find a web design one. And here we are. And to audition it, go to the one that you want. I've got a landing page here that's going to work for me today. Simply click on it. You can see a live demo of it by hitting the little button there. This takes you to the Elegant Themes live demos and you can look to see if you like it. And it'll also have the other pages in that particular series for you to check out. When you're happy and decided what you want, go ahead and hit the Use This Layout button. And there we are, we've got our layout loaded to our new page here. Now what we're going to want to do is make links to each of this, these sections so we can add our own. So to do that we're going to be using CSS IDs and we went over this in our last video. So let's go into our first section here, blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module. Hit the little cog to go in there. Go over to the advanced and here we're going to find CSS IDs and classes. Be sure to use a CSS ID, not a CSS class, and they all need to be unique. So for our first one here, I'm going to call it page top, P-A-G-E-T-O-P. -E so when I call it home, it'll come back to there. Our next one, let's call this one services. And again, I'm going to go into the section. You can go into rows if you want it to stop right there. It'll work just the same. Over to advance. CSS ID. I'm going to give it services. Rolling on down. Let's call this one winning. And again, you can do the row or the section. I'm going to do the section. Advance. CSS ID. And we're going to call it winning. roll on down and we'll do this one and call it a day I'm sure you get the idea into the section and I'll call this one mobile advanced CSS ID mobile okay now let's save our changes publish the page first thing we're going to want to do is make this our home page because it's going to be a one page site to do this Let's go to our dashboard, down to appearance and customize. And this is common to most WordPress themes, not just the Divi theme. That'll take us to this page. You can see home page settings down there. Now I'm going to set our new page as the home page. You want to make sure you've got the little dot in the radio button there set to static page. You won't see much difference over here because this is a template we also used in our last video. So let's set our home page to our new page, which is called scrolling. There we go. Great. And we're happy with that. So let's publish. That'll save our changes. Now what we need to do is create our own custom menu, perhaps with the same as I've got here, home, and we can have that to this section services to services obviously winning to awards or winning 
and mobile was the one for design. So let's go to our menus. I've got it open here, but just to show you how to get to it, let's go back to our dashboard, go down to appearance and menus. We're going to want to create a new menu for this today. So let's go up here, create new menu. And let's call it scrolling. When you're happy, hit the create menu. OK, and to create our menu items, we've got to use custom links for this. So our first top link was called top page. Just check this because if you don't get it right, it won't work. Page top. So all CSS IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them. So we'll see hashtag and the name page top. Add to menu. And what we want it to actually say is home. So you can go in there, you can do it here, or you can do it right here. Instead of menu item, I'm going to say home. That's what will appear in the menu up there. Let's create another one now. And the next one was services, hashtag services. Add this one to the menu. And again, let's close this one down. And we want this one to be called services. And after services, let's get rid of that. We had winning. So hashtag CSS ID of winning. And we can put the name in here this time. You can do this as well as hitting the little chevron, whichever works for you. And after winning, I think we had mobile, didn't we? So let's go in there. New one, hashtag CSS ID mobile. And let's give that mobile also. It doesn't have to be the same. You can call it whatever you want there. Add this one to the menu. You can drag and drop to reposition, but that's going to work for me. When you're happy, let's save the menu. Now what we need to do is give this a location where we want this menu called scrolling. We're going to want it up the top here as our primary menu. And you won't see much change because that's the same as we used in our demo. So let's go over to manage locations, primary menu, and ours is called scrolling. Save the changes. There we go. Now we can go back to the page, make sure everything's saved. If it's not open, hit the little purple button at the bottom. Hit save. Let's exit the visual builder. Here's our new little menu. When I hit services, it should go down to the services section. Winning should go down to the winning section. Mobile should go down to the mobile section, etc, etc. I'm sure you get the idea. And then when we hit the home, it should go back up to the top of the page. So there you go, guys. One page scrolling sites are very fashionable at the moment. And that is how to create one really easily using the Divi theme. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.